Hi, loves. It's me, Martini. I'm back. Now you all know me by now. And if you don't, you're in for a treat. Let me introduce myself. My name is Miss Martini. Like the drink, anytime, any place, anywhere. And I've been asked to say a few things tonight while a massive costume change happens backstage. Or in other words, the curtain pullers need a fag and the backstage manager needs another gin. You all having a good night? I said, are we all having a good night? And are we glad we could put on a show this year? Well, at least you're happy. Means I actually had to make an effort and put some lippy on. I haven't been out my pajamas for the last two years. And believe you me, ladies and gentlemen, you can smell me from the bottom of the street. I mean, even the postman thought you took a wrong turn, was walking down the fish aisle at Tesco. Lockdown. That was a bad on a lapse, wasn't it? I mean, at one point, I had to turn to my mum and say, hey, does that offer still stand to slap me into next year? And all that hand washing, whose idea was it to sing happy birthday when washing your hands? Now every time I come out of the toilet, the kids think I'm bringing a cake. And don't get me started on cleaning door handles. I haven't polished so many knobs since my first year at college. But a word of advice, ladies and gentlemen, the best way to keep your hands away from your mouths is have a glass of wine in both hands. Hey, did anyone's neighbours dob them in? The fear! I mean, heaven forbid your hay fever's playing up. I'm not gonna lie, I quite often cough to cover up a fart. But it's something else when you're farting to cover up a cough, isn't it? Our street was like the Salem witch trials. I mean, all because we didn't take in number three's Amazon delivery for their premium banana massager. Our names were plastered all over social media. We were known as the serial COVID spreaders at Tidworth. And I mean, what does a banana even need a massage for anyway? Hey, I've got a joke for you. Knock, knock. Hatch. Cover your mouths when you need to sneeze, then you know we're in a pandemic. I guess it was nice though, wasn't it? Spending time with the family for the first week. After that, it was all a bit of a blur. I mean, I can remember when I got married. I can remember where I got married. But for the life of me, I can remember why I got married. Living with him was absolute carnage. Every little thing he did, I wanted to kill him. I mean, toothpaste on the mirror, socks on the floor, and tissues. Tissues in his dressing gown, tissues on the bedside table, tissues in his pockets when I'm doing his washing. We were in a bog roll ration situation as it was, and he's got tissues stashed all over the place. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I don't even think I heard him blow his nose once. But we made a promise, a promise to help us get through lockdown, and that was to never go to bed angry with each other. Aww. One week I didn't sleep for three days. <laughs> it just frustrates me that he's always got to get the last word in. Then again, those words are usually, I'm sorry and you're right. <laughs> I know, I'm high maintenance. I've got to have what I want when I want it. And I've got to know what's going on at all times. I mean, the other week I caught him for the sixth time staring at our marriage certificate. I thought, oh, he's getting sentimental. Our anniversary is coming up. But no, ladies and gentlemen, he was looking for the expiry date. <laughs> he's all right, though. He has his good days, hours, minutes. Let me rephrase that. He's all right every now and then. I mean, he did do something dead sweet the other week. He bought me one of those scratch-off maps, you know the, um, the magnetic ones from Amazon? 
and he gives me a dart and he says, Martini, throw this dart at that map and whatever it lands, that's where I'm going to take you after lockdown. Turns out I'm spending two weeks behind the fridge. <laughs> All jokes aside though, lockdown has made us appreciate what we've got and looking towards our future. I mean, we did something dead grown up the other week. We both took out life insurance policies on each other. It's just a waiting game now, isn't it? <laughs> hey, does anyone try getting fit through lockdown? No? Well, me and my husband, we started running together. And then he'd run in the morning and I'd run in the night. For no other reason than the added fear of being murdered in Tidworth in the dark does everything to get your heart rate going on your Fitbit. <laughs> oh, we joined a gym, yeah. I rang up to book our induction and they said, uh, is there any classes that you're interested in doing? So I said, do you do any adult gymnastics or yoga? And they said, well, how flexible are you? I said, well, I can't do Mondays or Fridays. <laughs> I am getting good at the gym though. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you something about treadmills. They get you nowhere. Bum, 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 <laughs> but I've been using this machine, ladies and gentlemen, and it is brilliant. I was on it for an hour the other day. By the end of it, I felt like I was going to throw up. But it was brilliant. It does everything. Kit Kat Chunkies, Mars Bars, Pringles. <laughs> to be honest, I do quite often go to the gym to check out the talent. And sometimes, sometimes I catch them checking it back out at me. The other day I saw this ripe beefcake in there, muscles for days, you know, staring at me on his machine. <laughs> staring at me. So I said, you know what? Come on, let's go and talk to him. So I walked up to him and I said, Are you trying to impress me? And he gives me that wink. So I said, you know what would really impress me? Is if you showed me how to use that machine out there in the corridor. He looks at me as to say, you what? So I took his hand and I walked him through the gym. Straight to the ATM machine. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting the nod. That means Barry's at his fag and everyone's in costume. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of the show. I'm off to the pub. I might see you all at the after show party. And uh, I've been Miss Martini. You'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and most of the back of the toilet doors in Andover. <laughs> enjoy the rest of your show, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, <laughs> kick me off already. And remember, coughs and sneezes spread diseases, but naked cuddles hurt no one. Good night, everyone. Let's get a round of applause for Miss Martini.